Andrew here, Sterilize Your Autoclave Solutions, 704-966-1650, option three for free technical support. Right here, we have a Midmark M9 new style. This is actually brand new. Um, we're gonna review the error codes. We're gonna start with error C010. So that error is power mode, system power loss, items not sterile, push stop to restart. So we don't have an error on the screen here, but we're gonna hit stop to restart, let the error clear if it can. Also, if it's hot and there's pressure inside, you're gonna to have to pull the pressure relief valve um, to release the pressure then to open the door. So, um, so power interruption, unit lost power for a few seconds during fill, heat up mode, or sterilization mode. So if it lost power, then again, there might be pressure pressure inside the chamber, the door might be shut, you might not be able to get it open. There is a pressure relief valve in the back here. You're just gonna pull up on that and you should be able to pull the door open. You can try that. Uh, we're gonna check the power cord connections. So you're gonna, we're gonna spin it to the back here. Um, as you can see, we got a, this is a detachable cord. Um, you're gonna wanna pull this off and inspect these. Uh, uh, so before, you're gonna pull it from the wall first. So pull the power from the wall first, unplug here, then you come to, back to the machine, unplug here. You're gonna wanna look for melted or swollen connections here, and you're gonna wanna look for melted or swollen connections right around these posts also. And then before you plug it back in, you're gonna plug it in in the back, and you're gonna plug it back in in the wall. Okay. So after, uh, so we're gonna check the power cord connections. Uh, power interruption could be due to an electrical storm, brownout, etc. You're gonna secure the power cord connections at the wall and outlet, and, and double check that every, like we just talked about. Unplug the unit for 60 seconds, then plug the unit into a dedicated, properly rated circuit. Um, after you've done that, the error code should go away. You might want to wait for the unit to cool down, pull all the instruments out, and run an empty cycle. Um, that's what we always recommend. If you're getting consistent error codes, pull all the stuff out, pull the trays out, run an empty cycle, get a baseline, start from there. Okay, so then also uh, loose or damaged wire connections. A couple other things in here, check AC terminals, connections, on J5 on main PC board. So again, with the PC board revealed, you'll see J5 is a white pin connector. That could have uh, burnt or browning connections. You're also gonna wanna make sure it's pushed up all the way in. Um, uh, power cord receptacle damaged. So the outlet on the wall could be bad. Um, so that's something, another thing that you can check. You can unplug it from the wall. You can plug the unit into a different outlet. Um, the ribbon cable is loose or damaged, so the ribbon cable's back here. Um, basically, there's two screw holes here. You're gonna unscrew this. There's one at the back. You're gonna unscrew this, and then this side panel should come off. Again, we wanna have the power unplugged for this, but once you take the side panel off, you'll see a ribbon cable comes from this screen down here to the board. If the unit is beeping, clicking with no display or display cuts out, um, we're gonna go to uh, secure replace ribbon harness. That's another thing that we just talked about. Um, so give us a call, 704-966-1650, option three for free tech support. We can walk you through that. I'd, I'd like to do that. Um, uh, the display PCB could be compromised. Uh, display PCB compromised, check for damage, pins, connection, and ribbon cable. Again, this is on the side panel here. Um, you could have to replace the digital PC board. So if you, don't, if you don't change your gasket often, if you don't change this gasket often, what happens is it steam leaks up here. As you probably noticed, once the door opens after the dry cycle, it will steam leak here. But if you're constantly, if you haven't replaced your door gasket in a while, see it, see how this doesn't move? That's how it should be. A lot of people, they're flopping in there and they're, they're, they shrink because they expand and contract, expand and contract. Also, you're gonna wanna make sure that that little ring is in there. But anyways, if your display PCB goes bad, it could be because your door gasket was leaking. Uh, also, the error code will not reset. So if the error code won't reset, again, you're gonna hit the stop button a bunch of times. It could be that the stop button is bad. Um, so that could also be the, the factor. 
That's pretty much it for error code C010. If you have any other questions, give us a call. Visit us on the web. If you like this video, please subscribe and share with your friends. Have a great day.